Well, it is going to be Brooks and the Brevet bringing the field down to the green. Great looking start. We are racing into turns one and two. Well, it's going to be Brevet and Navini early lead over Brooks. Here comes Ted Welshmeyer closing three car battle down in turn number four. It's a drag race to the flanks hand. Give it to Brevet, a fender. Trouble the 55, Alex Gilbertson has brought his to the infield. Trouble turn number two, Ted Welshmeyer. Well, looking to pick up the green flag action. Turn number four, it is gonna be Previtt leading them back down to the flags. Well, Brooks getting a strong restart up to challenge Previtt down in turns one and two. Well, great battle for the number th four position. It's going to be Poe. Oh, and we've got trouble. Turn number two. The four of Marshall Berry around turn number two. Yellow flag. Straight away. Previtt looking to get us going again down in turn number four. Green flag. And it's going to be Aaron Poe riding that low side. Our troubles continue. Turns one and two. The 618 of Michael Lucas around yellow flag. Saturday night. The graphic rate heating, cooling night here at the Speedway. Our Lake Ozark Speedway late models back in the house with us next Saturday night. Well, these very street stock racers back out with us next Saturday night. Pure Stocks, Power Eye, Midwest Lightning Sprints, and Bassing Bob B. Modifieds, all part of the action here next Saturday night. The Graphic Reed Heating and Cooling Night at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Go 18 to go as we'll look to pick up the action once again down in turn number four. The 25 Triple X of Pravit once again will show us back to the green. And trouble here on the front stretch. The five of Justin McDowell. Justin McDowell around. Remain 18 to go. Let's hope we'll be able to race this one through to its conclusion as each division has a time limit. Well, we've got a battle for the lead down in turn number four. It is going to be Previtt holding off the charge of Brooks to maintain that top spot. Now a good battle as Poe and Myers lock horns in a battle for the number three position. Give it to Poe on the move turn number four. Well, Aaron Poe now racing alongside Brooks for the number two position. Brooks all the way upstairs down in turn number two. Poe with a run to the inside. Good battle for the runner of position. Still Previtt showing the fast way here to Lake Ozark Speedway. We've got one in trouble off turn two, the 05 of Dale Berry. Dale Berry slowing here on the back stretch. Well, Berry remains on track into turn number three. We're going to be looking for the yellow flag, yellow flag. The 
five of Eric Hammonds and the 409 of Joe Miller. Well, Brooks will look to the high side of Previtt for that top spot down in turns three and four. It's a drag race to the flag stand. Give it to Brooks. Well, Brooks taking over here at lap number eight. Now it's going to be Poe going to work on that 25 triple X of Previtt. Well, we've got caution, caution in the air. Well, caution flag in the air. The 82 of Chris Brocker driving the right rear tire plum off of the 82 machine. Draws the yellow. The four of Marshall Berry. The 618 of Michael Lucas. The double zero of McConkey back to green. Well, great three car battle for the runner of spot. Post shows it to Previtt, but it's Previtt motoring away. Now Shane Myers taking it upstairs. A groove on Previtt and the Poe. Great three car battle, but that allows your leader, John Brooks, to motor out on the field. Well, Shane Myers, a great move as he takes that position from Aaron Bow. Continue to be a great three car battle for position. Myers maybe muscled Poe up the banking just a bit, allowing the 356 of Reggie Jackson a look to the left rear of Poe. Oh, trouble turn number one. Well, my scene this time, it is going to be John Brooks leading that charge back to the green flag. Aaron Poe and Renji Jackson, your top three. Well, once again leads the field back down to the flags and we've got seven to go this time. Great battle now for the runner up spot. Here comes the 356. Reggie Jackson looking high side. Turn number two. Great battle for the lead down in turn number four. Oh, Brooks around here after contact with Jackson at the flag stand. is going to be the 356 of Reggie Jackson now showing away. The 45 of Aaron Poe feature winner one week ago in the runner up position to 21 W10 Welshmeyer third. Followed by the four of Marshall Berry, the 8H of Haley and the 67 of Jeff Linhart back to green this time. Well, the 27 of John Brooks pulls his to the infield. We'll watch the remainder of this one. Here comes Aaron Poe looking low side of Jackson for the lead turn number four. Well, it's going to be Jackson fending off the challenge here at lap number 15. We've got five to go once again 
defender defender battle for that lead poe looking low son of jackson turn number four it's going to be poe up the banking leaves jackson just enough room Aaron Poe looking for back-to-back -back feature wins here to Lake Ozark Speedway. Once again, locking horns with the 356 of Red Jade Jackson. Back to the flag stand. This time it's Poe showing away with only three to go. Jackson, a great drive around the banking down in turns one and two, but it's Poe motoring out into turn three. Trouble, turn four, turn four. Light out, it's going to be Aaron Poe leading a charge back to the green with only three to go this time. Well, out of nowhere, the AAA machine of Darren Turner making some big moves this final dash. Aaron Poe, Reggie Jackson, Ted Welshmeyer, our top three drivers looking for that white flag. This time down in turn number four. White flag one more time. And going back to back of the Lake Ozark Speedway, it is going to be Aaron Poe cruising to the victory over the 356 of Reggie Jackson, Ted Welshmeyer, third, and the Triple Eight machine of Darren Turner, your top four. Well, race fans going back to back in your DeGraff and Reed heating and cooling street stock action. The 45 Aaron Poe of Knob Noster, return visitor with us here at Lake Ozark Speedway Victory Lane. Well, he's got a pretty fast race car and able to keep his nose clean. Tonight's main event for the second time this season. It is the 45 machine Aaron Poe, former go-kart racer. Having his way with the field here at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Here he comes, everybody out of the car, Mr. Aaron Poe. He looks like he's sponsored by Central Bank. The driver number 45. You did a whale of a job, my friend. Just a whale of a job. Uh, looked like it was kind of tough out there tonight. Yeah, uh, I'm a little worn out, man. You're a little worn out? Yeah. You got some people you'd like to really thank a lot. Yeah, I, I missed you. I had to come back this week, see you again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I got to thank my, my crew, my dad. My girlfriend, Jessica, my, my niece, Addie, uh, they all helped me this weekend come out and get the car ready and get out here. Uh, it was a handful tonight uh, out on the track. It was a little rough, but I knew I was going to have to leave it in, in the ruts to be able to get to the front. But got to thank all my sponsors, Speeds Enterprises, All-Star Bail Bonds, Elite Auto, uh, Soul Pro Tunes, uh, Joe Good State Farms, Central Bank of Warrensburg, Coldwell Bank Elite Really, Lewis Ground Maintenance, Matai Motorsports, uh, Shark Chassis, and Triple R Motors. Uh, that motor was pretty healthy tonight, and I think it showed. I hear you, everybody. Give this man a round of applause at number 45. That's Aaron Poe. Well, some tough, tough slips.